evening am i audible yeah, okay? yes welcome just yes. uh happy since there is happy evening since there's a lot of crowd so uh, to be on the safer side it would be good if you use your chat box and uh, this hand sign throughout the session okay to uh, take an uninterrupted and undisturbed session right yes will that be fine thumbs up okay that's great so yes uh, good and a happy evening everyone this is netaj nirmal who's going to take up next around 120 minutes of your uh, lifetime okay so is my voice echoing how about it others just check that it's fine sir it's absolutely fine it's fine right okay that's great i, I just got a message that it's uh, people here do echo okay coming to the point who are you man you're going to take uh 120 minutes of a life okay obviously you should know about me right so this is netaj nirmal as mr raji said i have 5 plus years of experience and 5 plus years of coordination with dubi and co-founder of webdojo apart from that i have been featured in uh, times of india and hindu and a lot of newspapers for the work which i've done previously i've worked with bosch accenture intel microsoft um and a, and a lot of companies okay for a very minimal time okay not a kind of uh, complete working so this is a brief about me if you wanted to know a little more about me just google my name n e t h a j i space n i r m a l okay cool that's fine so before getting into the session why what's your expectation over here can i get a quick replies in the chat box so yes you can make yourself a chat box please new learning okay definitely that's going to be yes that's all no expectations over here web scrapping okay that's a higher higher in expectation and the scales are high don't worry we'll also do that play with data obviously we are going to have fun we'll learn how to extract data from many sources yes of course and a lot of industrial information too <clears throat> okay so i think i've made clear about me and uh, a small disclaimer before getting into the session point number 1 try to make use of your chat box as uh, far as possible and on the other hand uh, if i get disconnected in any way okay due to any uh, i mean bad circumstances because it's raining in my area and uh, even i do have a bad throat over there if i get disconnected anyway i'll i'll be back in next one or two minutes maximum okay and i do expect the same from your side clear so let's directly dive in yes. okay so i'm just putting off the screens and uh, does this chat box hinder your view just give me a is that hiding anything from from the back side no that's great thanks for that oh my goodness okay uh, i don't have my pen to be written directly on the screen i'll be using it in the jamboard separately whenever required okay usually i start with this uh, single word related to technology okay every technology under the sun is just a super imposition of virtual elements and even physical elements on a human physical mechanism in one or the other way okay so hope uh, if you just sit and think about it you'll get that okay every technology which is under the sun in one or the other way it's nothing but a human mechanism converted into some other ways using either virtual element or the physical elements okay uh, something is missing on the screen what's missing do you see that definitely this thing might have you have extracted this data already see the first page this guy is making a mistake or there there's something missing yes extraction of data okay there is missing right so yes you, have, you you guys already started extracting data before i start the class okay what data did you extract you extracted a faulty data from my side on my first page yes or no yes good obviously don't worry i kept it on the purpose yes this guy came obviously we are going to deal with a simple 
and the most basic level of uh, dealing with the data. Okay, so extraction of data. We are going to open it up and we are going to extract, not from here actually, from all other sources. Okay, no one could extract anything from here. That's the, uh, that's the only asset which cannot be stolen at any cost. Yes, shall we move ahead? Obviously, we are going to completely deal with Python only, but uh, before getting into the session, technically, going into all these technical concepts, before going into all these things, I wanted to make one thing clear. As I say this thing, this three lines which is on the screen, I should justify that. I mean, I should justify that, right? Shall we quickly go through an experiment? A short experiment. I'm not going to tell what kind of experiment is that. You will see that in the results. Please, I want everyone to make use of your chat box. Yes, great. So see if you have any distractions around you, just put everything off, focus on the screen. And now itself, I'll instruct you in the second half, maybe after 20 minutes or half, you will definitely require a laptop or a desktop to experiment hands-on projects. Okay, because without hands-on, it will not be so much. So if you want to make any arrangements, make them that way. So basically attend this uh, basic test and you just move on. Okay. Yes. Just text me what you see on the screen. I don't want the voice answers. I want data. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll wait for you, maybe two minutes, three minutes. So just type one word. I don't want any description. I don't want any story. Just type one single word seeing by seeing this image. One, one, just only one option. <laughs> I got two options from some people. Okay, lion, bird. Okay, bird. No, one answer, only one answer. No, two answers. Okay, I, predator, bird, eagle. Okay, ghost. <laughs> That's great. Lion. Ah, Mr. Uh, uh, Kulasha. That's a great answer. <laughs> Picture. Yes, data. See, be out of the technical world. Just as the individual human and this owl, animals. Yes, I've got a lot of replies. Sun, waves. Okay. So, yes. Flower. That's nice. Nah? That's something new. Yes. First answer on flower. Flower. Angry bird. <laughs> <laughs> maybe okay see i don't have a, a solutions for all of your answers in the next screen i'll put up the screen and you can analyze yourself how far you're extracting the data and in what methodology you're extracting the data okay yes so uh, in the first slide what did you extract you extracted a faulty uh, front page from me okay which i corrected immediately and in the second page you are seeing some image and everyone is uh, perceiving it in a very different way. Okay, let's see what this tells us. And uh, see, uh, this is not, uh, uh, you cannot come to any conclusion. This is a kind of playful experiment only. Okay, don't come to any conclusion. Oh, I'm a character of this guy or uh, I'm having all this uh, characteristics. On don't come to any such kind of conclusion. Yes. So I believe a lot of people's answer are here. If you thought this thing is a lion, okay. The answer is on the screen. I can't use my pen over here. Okay, the answer is on the screen. And if you thought it's a bird, there is a uh, query for you. Don't think this, this is something like astrology general. This is completely psychology. And uh, yes, I'm also a master's in psychology and counseling psychotherapy. So don't think that I'm just blabbering anything. Without a proper data, I won't do this. Yes. Okay, did you see the answers? Did you read the answers? Yes. And people who don't have your answer here, don't worry, because I, I got only these two answers based upon the uh, test cases and uh, evidences. Okay, psychological test evidences. I don't have any other data. Okay. If a person who perceived it as uh, a flower, angry birds and all those things, yes, you do have a different trait apart from that. <laughs> okay, yes. So it means that lion, uh, people who thought this is a lion are strongest people with no fears and they're brave, it seems. Okay. So by this, I extracted a mild data from you. What kind of person you are without even knowing your name, without even seeing who you are, without even seeing your face. I can extract 
but it's not 100% uh, true it may go uh, false and it may go even true but most of most of you okay for most of your cases without getting any even a single word from you apart from this one word which i got okay i can tell it this way without even getting two words from you i just came to a what i just extracted a data from you this is a type of data extraction what human does we are not going to learn all these things obviously shall we go to one more experiment because you are not aware right what kind of experiment this is going to be yes okay i do have a lot of answers after that we'll completely move into technology because to justify the statement which i said and to uh, make you recognize that its data extraction is not new for you you have been doing it from the time when you are born okay so let's go for the next yes <clears throat> 12 standard bio teacher did experiment like this <laughs> great great yes so yes what do you see now only one answer go ahead go ahead dinosaur <laughs> dinosaur good good imagination okay i got only two different answers three four different answers five boat in the river aha uh -huh. that's nice no even i didn't thought like that couple crocodile palace flying bird okay okay we do have some exceptional personalities here shall we test the results then yes great going yes i got a lot of first answers but the people the total count of people who gave the second answers is a uh, very little okay so just i'll give you 2 minutes you can read this data <clears throat> If you are done reading, give me a thumbs up or just raise your hands. I can move ahead. No more experiments. That's it. After this, everything is going to be uh, computer technology experiments. I am both. <laughs> okay. Still waiting. Some of the people want to read it uh, carefully, right? Okay. If you're done, just put me a thumbs up. Yes. So uh, we did something. Okay, we did something to extract your data. Actually, why I did this experiment is that I've already told you. Point number one: to make sure and to make yourself recognize that. data extraction is not new for you you have been doing it always all the time 24 hours a day for 365 days if it's a leap year 365.25 days or 366 days something like that okay uh, don't worry if i miss the number <clears throat> so why do we need data extraction in the technology field yes why just give me your calm and uh, i don't want any bookish definition over here just i want to hear from you to analyze the data insights forecasting that's it to filter <laughs> see tell me the final results over here data to tell story derive answers okay <clears throat> yes understand the whole story better results okay Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, before uh, this computers and all came, uh, gathering this data and using it was the was the most uh, difficult task. And getting a data, actually, if you get some new data, it's like a treasure for you. Okay. And after this, the nineteen seventies and nineteen eighties, they started to gather all this data. And why the data became so important is that data is like air; it's available everywhere. see in in a short while of 10 to 15 minutes you generated so many data okay and meanwhile along the class you would have been texting you have would have been listening to something else you, have, you would have been doing something else okay everywhere a single person is we don't know whether they generate multi stream income 
but definitely they'll generate multi stream data to the world okay that's why data has become so important and the thing which we are learning today is the first stepping stone to deal and to understand and to earn and to make a living out of all the data which is around the world okay so let's get going yes how the data are generated where the data are generated first we should know the source if you are going to deal with some individual the first and foremost thing we should know about the individual okay so uh, considering that everyone knows this data already we generate how many millions mail how many millions tweets how many million reels and how many million uh, um, shots instagram messages instagram pictures posts okay call data facebook etc 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 we keep on generating data i don't want to uh, take you into all this uh, uh, general statistics which everyone have an idea about okay so this is how a lot of data are being generated but but the data is being generated in various different formats in 1970s and 1980s the data was in only one format what was the format <clears throat> in the olden days when the computers was initially de uh, designed or uh, used yes it was in text format before that it was in binary yes of course no it was in text format when time evolved people started to include a uh, various different form of extension like pdf text file doc file docs file excel csv okay like this uh, we started to have a lot of other uh, extension and varieties of document okay and uh, do you have a rough count how many different type of document we have now in the world which is currently running like uh, mp4 mp3 uh, pdf 100 plus yes what do you think the rough count is others yes exactly i think already okay It's more than 64000 or 65000 different formats but we use uh, popular the popular the uh, total number of popular extensions that have been used is like considering pdf txt csv all these things will not even touch more than 20 different types of uh, uh, formats okay so the work today is whatever file format you see how to extract the data from that that is the agenda for today and uh, uh, we'll be dealing with various python packages since uh, we are going to learn that only through python yes you do have a lot of other tools to do that we are not moving all around there we are going to concentrate how to do all these tasks just by using python okay and uh, a kind of bonus uh, for the people not a bonus kind of thing which you haven't seen in the uh, takeaways today we are going to also handle in government data okay so how to get the authenticated original data which, which is provided by the government and after that i'll tell you how it's going to evolve today you can ask me sir everything we are going to learn about data extraction then what am i going to do with the extracted data okay all the details can be taken at the end i'll tell you what's your next step um, how to get it forward how to take it forward what to do with the extracted data all these things we'll have a short discussion at the end okay so getting on to the business case uh, these are all the areas like uh, in in all the fields you use that and i asked you in the beginning everyone gave a lot of results uh, where this data is are used the extracted data are used okay so let's see some domain specific ideologies how different industries use their data before going into all those extraction we should know that right then only it will be interesting for us or else we don't know the value of data so e-commerce website how do they use your data and many of you might be working in the same field also how do you use the e-commerce data which is being generated yes even tonight if you order uh, what is it anything from swiggy that's a data okay and if you're from southern zone okay like karnataka ap and this area and even mumbai goa tonight if you book a ticket to kgf2 or the beast movie which is coming that's a e-commerce data okay <clears throat> yes how many of you booked it already <laughs> four five okay it seems that a lot of learning people are here 
is. What is the total count? Okay, we have 150 people here. E-commerce generated maximum data on yours. Okay, okay, that's great. Yes, good. It seems that a lot of people have booked this ticket. You have generated such a good data. So yes, what's your idea on this? E-commerce data. They will, you, you guys are always aware how e-commerce uh, use your data. Whatever you search, it will be there in your Facebook, it will be there in your uh, Instagram, it will be there in your YouTube, the respective ads, the related videos, the related contents, everything will come over there. Okay. So everyone already knew uh, where uh, data are used in e-commerce area. Okay, going next, manufacturing areas. So I wanted to make sure what is this manufacturing, first of all, a lot of people used to get confused with that. So yes, can you quote me one industry? which manufactures uh, India's top 10, uh, maybe uh, consumer products. Tata, Reliance. Reliance, does Reliance manufacture anything? I'm not aware. HUL, ITC. Geo doesn't manufacture anything. Yes, go ahead. That's why I wanted examples. Yes, Reliance is a service company. Geo is a service company. Yes, quote some other uh, manufacturing companies. Ah, Hero Auto. Yes, Brilla Mahendra. Apple. Yes, Apple is not in India, right? Soon may it, it may come. I think they are planning this uh, uh, Fox Foxconn. Okay, they are planning a plant in Chennai. So if you know how to handle data, you might get an option over there in Apple. Adani, Adani Power, yes. Godrich, Oppo. DRDO, yes. They do manufacture a lot. Weapons and things. Hindustan Unilever, yes. Now you're clear. What is a uh, manufacturing company? A lot of them gave a lot of examples. Okay. So there, where do they use this data? That's an important point. And someone had told me this is, uh, that's ISRO. I wanted to uh, definitely take this picture into scene. We had a big drawback, not a drawback. Uh, we didn't see a big success in the recent punch, which happened maybe within two years. What was that? What ISRO launched? Chandra into, my goodness, that's too far, man. Yeah, moon landing, that ran, uh, landing rover. Mangalyan? Agni, Agni Anal is too far. See, recently, uh, the last launch is to just near the North Pole. We were planning to land in the North Pole where no country have landed yet. Okay. Uh, when we are trying to land over there, just around 2 to 2.5 kilometers, just about to land. Okay, land the uh, uh, rover. We lost the connection. We lost the connection means we didn't receive the data. Uh, the, the satellite which we sent was not able to extract the data. Okay. And of course, that was a big bang to India. They are trying it. Okay. So in the manufacturing area, they do, do use in a lot of uh, different areas. Okay. Finance and accounting. I don't know how many of you are from that area because the terminology finance and accounting itself came because people started to handle money-related data. Before that, they weren't handling it. They'll get it, they'll put it, and everything in the form of gold or commodity exchange, they won't have any too much of accounting over there. Once this accounting started, we had data. Okay, And in the education field, in the healthcare, healthcare, it's a very big scenario. How do they use uh, all this data mining? Okay. So next, in retail shops and in the telecom areas, Okay, in all those areas, they use data. Without data, nothing will work. Okay, so we can do a lot of uh, different things with data. I'm not getting too much into that. The next step is data engineering, and after that, data analysis, and after that, data science. Okay, it's a kind of step by step process, and uh, this can be that's why I told you this is the first stepping stone for your. You may be in whatever whatever domain you may be. This will be the first stepping stone for you to get started with any kind of such stuff. Okay. Yes. And if anyone of you think, just a minute. Yes. And if anyone of you think that 
if you learn data extraction and uh, that's it you're going to get started with your career please see this meme this is the meme for people who think in such a way as i always tell you from the beginning it's just the first stepping stone to deal with the world of data okay do you understand the meme or should i give an explanation <clears throat> Yes, it's true, sir. Yes, of course. Yes. Great. Understood. Perfect. Let's get going. So obviously, since we are in the first stage, we will learn only to extract data. No data cleansing, no data integration, no missing values. Don't have that uh, gigantic images in, in, in your mind and all. we are going to touch the first layer with a lot of different examples and different packages great expectation versus reality is yes, of course so yes moving ahead mission accomplished theoretically and uh, next let's get our hands dirty because there is no fun without uh, getting hands on stuff right 630 so we'll wait a minute i'll just check the link and i'll be sharing the link in the chat box yes okay first use this link and we'll go for the indian government data and all those scrapping yes as people asked we will also be doing web scrapping and i'm going to scrap my own company's web <laughs> website only okay you can use it for anything else so everything in some areas you will have some complex codes okay i'll explain all the overview because everything cannot be covered in depth manner okay. but damn sure you will have a good experience you so i am just putting it on the chat screen so everyone in the meeting just a minute yes yes i have shared the link what you should do is go there please take copy paste click on the file and uh, save a copy in drive okay please do this before proceeding you will not be able to edit this file until you get a copy of your own yes just acknowledge me if you can open it or not yes what's the time Six thirty-three. You can take two minutes uh, for this acknowledgement. Opened. Yes, opening. Good. So, because I cannot make you code everything in life, the codes are a little bit big, and some codes are a little bit complex. Well, that's why I just wanted to concentrate on the area uh, for what we started the meeting. Yes, opened in Google Colab. Done. 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 Okay. i'll just take 2 minutes so i'll give you 2 minutes please open that yes done great <clears throat> of course you would scroll down here and there i'll take you through all these things that okay most of you have opened anyone having any issues in opening this please let me know do we have to open this in google colab yes the link which i gave you will automatically take you to the google colab yes please share it again what happened oh okay the message went off no it will be in the public chat okay i'm sharing the link again to everyone in the meeting please open that great
no paint good both are yeah i sent you one only one link yet since the other people asked i just sent the link again once again why can't you people see the link in public chat or oh, lost the connection sure 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 yes i'm sending the same link again don't get confused please send me another link yeah i'm sending it another time it's not an another link So people just acknowledged me. Others, all the new people who asked this link, just acknowledged me. We are just going to thank you, sir. Great for us too. Yes, yes, Mr. Prince, you got the connection already. <clears throat> okay, let's get going. So I'll just I, I'm going to use a lot of packages in between. So basically. I'll tell you for what all these packages are, which I'm going to install at the first. And in between, I'll restart the kernel because for installing some packages, we need to even restart it one, once or twice. Okay. Do you create? Yes, please create a duplicate. Create a duplicate. Have a copy. First of all, I should check all these things. Let's go there. Save a copy and drive. Okay. Please. done okay so i don't need all these packages here right away but though this matplotlib package people who have been through this python related stuff and data science related stuff okay and who have touched all these things you would already know what is matplotlib matplotlib is nothing but a tool or a package used to visualize the results okay we'll do one or two visualizations uh, here and there to get an idea and this pandas is a package to extract the data from external websites and from the external sites okay just to extract excel or csv and some text files like that okay and import requests this is an important thing people who were asking from the beginning about this web scrapping okay or data mining from the web this is an important package for you because in this particular package only <clears throat> i can uh, read the data from any website okay i can extract the data the raw we shouldn't call it raw basically it's a crude data okay so i believe everyone know what uh, the word crude means right so we'll be getting the crude data after that we'll do one or two modifications and beautiful soup <laughs> i don't know why this guy's uh, uh, used the name beautiful soup actually beautiful soup is a package which is used to, to deal with html you can ask me sir we are going to use that request to deal that now it's beautiful soup will break down the HTML pages into paragraphs, classes, and we can extract specific data, whichever we want. To extract is another thing to extract only the text from all this HTML related stuff. So we'll be going through one or two web extraction sites also. So basically I'll tell you the flow. First we'll extract from normal uh, CSV kind of files. Then we'll go for web scrapping. Uh, then from, sorry, not from text. Uh, then from images, uh, from audios, what are the other types of things are PDF. Okay. And except video, we will extract data from all the document format, whichever we use daily. Clear. Any queries in this area? We are going to start. Should we save in a computer? Not in your computer. Save it in your Google drive itself, please. On the top, you'll have an option called in this file. You can save a copy in drive and you will see a cute little play button here for the people who are new to Colab. If you press this play button, your code will uh, run. Okay. Can I use spider? Yes. I won't obligate anything, but if you want, you can use that. Okay. You should have proper packages installed for that in Colab. That's not an issue. It will right away happen here. If you're using there, you should install all the required packages which are necessary. Okay. Yes. So any other doubts at this point? We are going to uh, dig out data from all the types of file which we are going to use except the video file. Clear? Shall we get going? Voice, image, PDF, Excel, CSV, um, 
a website and even finally with, along with api so there's something very special called api keys so we are going to extract even data with api we are going to do all this stuffs today so have a keen eye have a keen ear and do everything in between that we'll have a short break okay uh, break in the sense not a <laughs> complete break one of our guests will come here for a short introduction okay so maybe at seven o'clock why not video yes miss uh, rani dealing with videos is a little bit difficult and it cannot be right away done just in a two hour session okay even people who have a little bit idea about all this instruction they would have a question is this guy going to extract data from thing in next coming not even two hours just one hour okay a lot of people will have this question in their mind yes do you have that or not just raise your hands yes just five six obviously okay even dealing with this is a little bit tricky only but i've made it as far as easy uh, easy for people who are working even for the first time okay yes that's why dealing video is a little bit difficult okay in from the video you can extract the audio and you can convert that to a text and is if there is any subtitle or any kind of letters coming on the video we can extract that that's another case okay let's start doing it so in this area actually uh, i'll not go too much into the codes and all okay let's directly work over there in this area i've connected this to my github and getting something called titanic data okay which i usually uh, used use for my all data science people okay so this titanic data is actually original data do you remember the titanic movie because rather than the original incident people remember the movie a lot yes in the real titanic incident who and all traveled along with their name along their age gender the ticket rate as far as possible okay we have a lot of data so i'm going to just get that data from my github that's what your first line does okay titanic data from kaggle not kaggle right away it's in my github as of now you can extract it from anywhere okay so quickly just a second yes can you see the data coming up in your screen passenger id and it's a random data just since i gave number 5 here i'm getting five samples from the whole data this is not the whole data you have more than 800 850 data okay so this is the passenger id uh, people survived or not one means they survived the accident two i mean zero means they they didn't survive it. okay they died and passenger class first class second class or third class the name of the uh, passenger their gender age siblings and parents uh, sorry parents and children siblings and spouse ticket rate fare their cabin which they travel embankment means the port which they boarded the ship okay the titanic yes yes totally we have 891 rows great so we do have some unclean data also here we are not going to going to bother about it right away i'm using a package called seaborn to plot that. this is the first and last time we are going to plot that since you need to get an idea about that right okay so the data has been extracted from a proper source okay and here i'm just plotting a general plot okay that is gender and survived which means out of the total number of males and female traveled over there how many males survived and how many females survived the data which is here is related to percentage the total males traveled only around 20 percentage of the males survived and out of the total number of women traveled around 70 percentage of the people have survived okay which means the death rate of male is high and the female is less okay so this is a small inference from the data clear does this work up to this point yes so ci parameter is for coloring okay as i told you don't go too much into the uh, coding it will it will dig out a lot of data we aren't here to learn visualization or the coding okay we are here to learn how, how to use python for data extraction that's it. yes yes it's also it also depends on the total number of males and females the next thing just go down 
you can look in look into the depth of the data maybe later because you have the code along with you right everything will work always so um, i'm just doing some costing work like pivot plot i mean uh, pivot tables and i'm getting how many people from the first class survey how many people from the second class survey how many people from the third class survey and around 60 to 61 62 percentage of the people who traveled in the first class survived the accident okay and in the second class around uh, somewhere between 40 and 30 and the third class this many okay out of the 100 percentage people traveled in the first class 60 survived that is 60 percentage out of the 100 percentage people who traveled in uh, second class this many survived okay so like this we can come to a lot of conclusion and third thing depending on the area which they uh, came in we can also do this kind of plotting okay so you can ask you you, should, you will be asking me a question right so you you're, you're giving uh, a lot of experiments to extract the data what we are going to do here okay this is one such example that's it but literally data has a very 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 high power uh, we'll talk about it maybe in the end if we have i'll talk about the financials of it i'll talk about the industrial use cases of it okay and how this data is going to evolve in the next future and how you can benefit from it and how you should safeguard yourself from that okay yes how do you make the accuracy it's correct because i got the original data set <laughs> that's it okay since we got the original data set mr uh, tangaraju uh, we are getting this accuracy that's it and i do believe this is the original data but i'm not sure since you told me i get an additional evidence that this is an original data yes so moving forward it's a very simple thing where everyone could do and this is webdojo's uh, website link okay i'm just opening the link this is the because from i, I can do it from the gubi's website but uh, gubi's website is a little bit safer i cannot extract too much data from gubi's website you can even any use any website in this area but uh, some numbers have to be adjusted here okay so be careful with that so i'm just running this i just gave the link in and i'm just running the requests page okay so it got some response but i'm not sure what response is this i'm just getting up to some uh, zero to 300 datas over there next thing this is where the beautiful soup comes into the scenario okay what i told this beautiful soup see this is completely an html page and i believe everyone in the meeting at least in your school time maybe in 10 standard plus one plus two or in junior college or in your college at some point of time without touching html you wouldn't have crossed your uh, schoolings as well as your college days okay so in the html we do have uh, classes division paragraph okay title heading all these things to extract all those tags or different tags from there we need this guy beautiful soup okay so i'm going to extract text from all these pages and let me check okay we got some meta content we build responsive websites portfolio blah 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 things and uh, all the extra additional website stuff which we don't even use once in the lifetime okay so from this what does p mean in the html uh, language how to extract play store website we can do that but a lot of stuff the question is what does the word or the letter p means in html language paragraph okay so i'm going to find all which means see from the soup soup means the package which i'm using okay from that i'm going to find all the p tags wherever this uh, uh, p tags are present, paragraph tags are present i'm going to get that since i have only 45 paragraph uh, uh, thing in in the whole thing which i extracted i'm using this number if you are using some other website be careful with these numbers which you are using okay if you give even additional one number you will get an out of index error or else you will not get it printed like this okay i run this code and i got a lot of data here okay so uh, web dojo design and development static websites dynamic website all the data over there okay but still it looks fuzzy right do we have any clear content over there there's p tag there's paragraph tag some other html stuffs over there 
Okay. The next line itself, you will have something else to clean this. Okay. So all paragraph dot text. Why only a phone number comes here is that because I'm extracting the text. Uh, I'm yes, just uh, I'm coming. So I'm just extracting the text from the forty fifth paragraph. Okay. If I change the number here, you will get the text from that particular uh, paragraph. Okay, in the numbers. So I wanted to do the same thing for the whole stuff, right? So bring it in for loop, and I'm running that. So I'll get all the datas into a list, which that particular website has. Okay, so that's it. In just three steps, we have extracted all the letters from that particular website, and we have it. You can ask me a question. Say it away. I can go there and copy the content. I can paste it anywhere you want. Right? Any in your mind. <laughs> you can also do it in that way, but you will not get uh, proper data. Why do we want to do that? This is web scraping. If you wanted to take any content from any site, okay, and you want to gather data, you should do things in this way. And even your uh, Google engine, okay, the browser which you use, okay, that's there's a crawling algorithm at the back end. It does the same thing. It will go to every website's first page and it will take all the similar words which is over there. And if you search something like this, very simple. If you type this thing, Netaji Nirmal, and it will find wherever this Netaji guy is present over there, and he'll it'll get all the data about him. Okay, so this SEO is doing not exactly the same thing. It doesn't extract the data and all. There's a different algorithm called crawler. Okay, yes, Mr. Prince, that's great. Later we can we, you can use this uh, data for NLP. Okay, that is natural language processing. Okay, or any kind of text analysis. How, which point this will use in, in different industry? Okay. See, you can use this to gather the reviews. Okay. Consider speaking since it's a movie time, uh, this two, three days, it's going to be there in, uh, in the South Zone. You can extract various commands from Instagram. But for that and all, you need access. You cannot just like that uh, uh, extract that. You need some other extra API access and all. And if you go for Twitter, they'll ask for a lot of tons of details from you to give the access to extract the data. Okay, using this kind of extraction only, the American election and the American president was chosen one time. What do we call that particular incident as? Do you remember that? Which happened uh, maybe four or five years back? Not Russian involvement. And then it's with Analytica. Even Facebook was. Uh, uh, dragged to the court for the work which they did. Yes. Yes, exactly. Cambridge Analytica. The whole US election results were decided basically using this technology which you are doing here. Okay. But not in the exact same way. You can ask me. Okay. There's a lot of uh, 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 very clever people in the market. They'll ask this. If I do this, can I change the Indian market? <clears throat> you know how to extract that. But we should learn how to use that on the market. That's a very different case. Clear? That's why we do this. So moving forward, again, a simple extraction from a website called FIFA. That is exactly Wikipedia. Okay. So first of all, let's see the data, what that has. Uh, follow this link. Yes. This is the Wikipedia page, which I'm going to scrap now. Okay. It has a lot of table and things. And in this area, simple, I gave pandas. That I didn't use any uh, beautiful book. Just by using pandas also, you can do this. Very simple. Uh, I'm using fourth place to match that, which will get the respective areas data. Okay. So if I run that right away, Yes, it's taking some. Yes, you'll get these details. So what are these details? Year, host, winner, where's that? Year, host, winner, all this guy. Okay. So win by teams. You can just change this number and check okay. whether match fourth place. Uh, where does this fourth place come? Past World Cups. Yes, this fourth place. 
Okay, using this, I'm just getting all the datas. Okay, sir, what is this match attribute? Yes, of course. I'm just explaining that similar thing. It will match the exact data which is over present there. I'll try to match it up with any word which is present over there, and I'll extract data from that particular area. Okay, it can be used in various other different ways. Yes, done. Were you able to extract some table or some data from the Wikipedia? Yes. Match means it will match a specific word from the whole uh, HTML page and it'll it'll take it for you. Okay, like just control F. Think whenever you go to any, um, what is it? This PDF file and these things, you'll just press control F and you'll find something. From that area, you'll take whatever you want. Okay, like that. I'm just reading the HTML using this particular area's uh, word. I'm just getting everything that whole data frame okay yes <clears throat> so finally uh, let's go for pdf we'll finish this pdf and we'll uh, ask the guest to enter the scenario so we'll be dealing with pdfs with two different packages this pi pdf2 is an old package let's see how does that return it and uh, of course you can take any pdf files uh, if you don't have any samples to right away deal with that, what you should do is actually in this area. First thing I'll tell you, you have to upload all the PDFs or whatever data which you wanted to use in this collab. How can you upload is that on the top uh, left corner, you'll have an upload button. Okay, press this and I have a lot of samples here. I'm going to upload everything. If you want the same file for you, I'll just share the drive link. You can download uh, all the data, whichever it's required. Okay. I have a voice here. I have a sample PDF. I have all the examples which I'm going to use here. Sample MP3 will not be using. Okay. okay. First of all, I'll just share this. So share. And uh, people this link are viewer if you want you can take a copy to your drive or just download that and then upload it to the cola okay so copy link i'm pasting it in the chat box or else you can take your own pdf file upload it to your cola as i told you here and then you can use that okay so to everyone yes okay get going you can get the files there or else uh, use the document which whichever you have okay it's still getting uploaded for me a little bit delay video of the table did it get updated first of all you need to install the package please do that and then you have to run this Yes, this pi PDF2 is an old PDF extraction package which can extract data from the PDF. Okay. Yes. So in this arena, since it's an old file, it will not rearrange everything then and there itself. It will give us a sparse uh, this kind of data. Okay. Where everything is like looks like an old style typing, right? So in this area, I'm getting only the zeroth page data. You can even select the page number. If you give a different page number, that particular page number's data will be extracted. Okay, you can keep the exact page number and you can extract whatever you want. List out of index. I think my PDF has only one page. That's why when I give the value as one, it doesn't uh, go for that. Okay, so yes, just quickly check that and give me your uh, updates. And quickly in the next area, you will have the new package to or new the modern one of the modern packages to extract uh, PDF files or the data from the PDF files. Okay, I'm just going to extract only the table from there. Okay, and exactly in the format which is present there. Okay, I'm using uh, what is it? A PDF called with tables where I have some tables inside that PDF. Okay, this exact table. Even I can open it for you. Mm. 
yes data for extraction and where is the data with the pdf with tables right so this is the sample pdf it's getting opened screen share is paused okay i think you see my thing this single page pdf uh, the table is extracted wait a minute i think you can't see that i'm not able to share that separate screen just a minute share the whole desktop yes this is the pdf which i'm using so that you can exactly get whatever table is over there you know how to extract the data separately clear yes so moving ahead just try that and give me an update and if you if you feel any difficulties to upload the data please ask me all the beginners who are using the colab press this upload button upload the files which you wanted to whatever you wanted to upload and in this area what you can do is you have a three uh, button over there right press that copy the path replace the path whatever which is here okay then only your pdf file and the python code will get connected or else it can't work okay just take your time do the experiment and once you got the success let me know <clears throat> yes i'm waiting for your reply and if you want the file i have even shared the link uh, which is in my drive you can uh, take the data from there and then upload it to the colab then you should use it here okay straight away it will not get connected because we want a pdf that's it even you can extract data from ppt we are also going to do that yes yes you are using your own file and it's working good that's great okay love to hear that it's good that people started using their own thing and use the extraction code for their own stuff that's lovely yes i'm still waiting and if you feel any difficulties please let me know i'll help you out in establishing this whole stuff only one step upload a file to colab copy the path paste the path it'll work run the code okay that's it don't use a password protected pdf it won't work use a pdf which is which does have an open access done yes great so i see a lot of people are doing it and if so if you need any help reach me out working for my own file that's great a lot of people are using your own file great okay so next we'll extract the image from pdf all those things will happen I have extracted things from PDFs. We'll quickly go through voice and image. I hope you would have downloaded the data. And there's one more important step uh, regarding this government-related data. We have to go for that too, and, and then we'll take a dot clearing session or the uh, what is it brainstorming session. Okay. And I just wanted to get the images from the uh, database. Okay. And I for here as of now, it's more than enough for me to just get. The, uh, amount of images for that i need something called py m u pdf and the pillow packages for visualizing the date let's ignore that area so i have a pdf here where is that sample pdf with the images okay actually it will get downloaded to my pc and uh, you can see that there in the database where is it yes sample pdf with images yes It's getting opened. So yes, in the first page I have one image, and then is there any other image? 
Okay, scroll down to find in which page the image is up. So you can get mention the page number and the images. Okay, so as of now, I am searching for the page number zero, and I just wanted the total number of image count over there. Okay, yes, one detected. And on your side, please provide a PDF which has a lot of images over there. Okay, and select the proper page number and select the proper. Uh, I mean, give the proper link. You have to upload the PDF here, and then you should use it. Okay. If I change the page number to one, which means actually the second page number, let's see. I have no images over there. Okay. And then in which page I do have? Maybe I think nine or eight. I'll have. I have an image. Which page is that? Ninth page. So technically eighth page because the page number starts from zero here. So let's see whether it detects or not. Yes, one detected. I have one images. So please, everyone, detecting this image is not a big deal. We can easily extract that even. Okay. So this is how you can touch and get the details. Okay. So people, if anyone is interested in uh, the stuff, please fill out the details. Follow the details in the chat box. That will be very much helpful for you. Yes. Finish off this experiment, and uh, yes. And next, this is where this this uh, dependencies will take a little extra time to get installed. So please run that first. And this is actually a. What about table extraction? We have done that earlier. You can use that uh, stuff to extract the tables. Yes, we know how to extract the data, image, tables, everything. And here, this is a kind of uh, multi-role paying package. You can use a single package to deal with all the stuffs which you want. Okay. Yes, and the package name is Textractor. Okay. You would have had all the required uh, installments there, so you you have to install everything. It'll take some time to install it, so please run that first. After running it, you need to restart your kernel. You'll you'll there itself. You'll get a restart button because. The software is need to get adjusted a little bit for that. Okay, and then I mentioned over there what are all type of files you can use to extract the data. I am right away. I am going to use a PPT to extract the data. So this guy is going to extract the data from a PPT. Of course, you can use a doc file, docs file, PDF, Excel. Same. The code is just three lines of code. You have to replace the link over here, and you'll get all the data. If it is a table data, it's a little bit tricky, and you have to use the previous code for that. Okay, so successfully building it. Okay, and please uh, download the wave file. That is the voice file which I have included. The, okay, to extract the data from the voice, even we'll finish this. We'll finish this, and we'll go for that. Okay. So everything has been installed, and I need to restart the runtime. There itself, you'll given you'll have an error message, and you have to restart the runtime. Okay, and it'll ask for an obligation. Please give S. Okay, then you can run this code. First of all, we need to import the package and arrange it responsibly. Then I'm going to use a PPT file which I've uploaded here. It will not be present there in your uh, drive. Okay, because that's my personal uh, stuff. So you can use whatever PPT file, whichever PPT file you have in your own PC. Upload it here, and you can use it. Okay. Yes, Mr. NC, we have shared the link for this collab in the beginning itself. If needed, I can finally one more time do it for you. Yes. So copy link. I'm pasting the link. Also there. So everyone in the meeting, yep, you can make use of the link. So yes, I'm going to run this guy. I'm using PPT actually. Okay. So it'll take some time because it needs to open up. It'll try again and again. All these things will happen, right? Thank you, sir. You are the, what's that smiley, man? NC. Thanks for that. Yes, <laughs> that's a good smiley. Okay, so I got the. Actually, this is a, a, 
uh, another stuff related to machine learning area. So all the data from that particular PPT have been extracted. Okay. So this is how you can extract data from using the same package. You don't need to change anything else. It's the path of the file. If you want to have a PDF, put the path of the PDF. If you want to put an image over there, put an image. I think I do have an image over here. Uh, 51, where is that sign? Yes. In this image, I do have two, three words here. Let's try this image here. Let's see what's going to be the output. Does this extract the image from, uh, and we do have one more package to do this also. Okay. So PNG file. Yes, this guy, this image is not sufficient enough for this guy to be handled. Okay. So let's go forward for, to handle this guy. For that, there's an another package called OCR. OCR means optical character recognition. Okay. And Tesseract. These are all some advanced packages. So if you want to have a, a learning about this, go to the official documentation and just have a picture of the Tesseract and all these guys are capable of doing. Okay. Yes. So since I've uploaded the file already, I'm not going to upload it again. If you want, you can upload your whatever file you have and that picture have some image with it okay so i'm going to test that yes so waiting engine waiting an engine have came and this please turn off your all this thing doesn't come okay it, it doesn't get recognized okay if we want 100 percentage accuracy that's a different case as of now we can extract this data too okay just give it a try yes you can also upload some other image and check and the image should have some bold text over there to recognize that. Okay. And the next most important thing here comes speech recognition. Please use a wave file and the wave file must have audio type format because this package is capable of handling only the audio type. You should not use binary file. You should not use string type and all the stuffs. So I have downloaded this data. You will have that in my drive or else you can download from this site called signallogic.com. You will have a lot of voice samples over there. You can take any one voice sample and you can place it here. Okay. And I think if I play the audio, it will not be audible to you since I'm using the headset. Okay. So just download the data from my drive. Is there the wave file? Yes. Mail.wave is there now. Use that file. Okay. If you download it, just play that in your PC. You can see what the computer speaks. And I'm going to recognize that. Okay. The voice which has been used there, it's going to get converted as text and it's going to be shown here just in a fraction of a second. Yes. But what if somebody decides to break you, keep an adequate coverage, to, but look for place to save money. Yes. Just check whether the audio file, if you want to cross check, just cross check whether the audio file executes and uh, tells the same audio over there. Okay. Of course, hundred percentage accuracy is uh, very difficult. Yes. <clears throat> Once you're done about this, next thing, all these APIs which I've given you here, you can easily experiment that. All the APIs are dealing with some foreign datas. Okay, that is abroad data, UK data, US data because all these guys are having such a data only. So let's tightly move on to the Indian government data because I don't want to deal with uh, all these guys as of now. You can just go run the code and check all those guys. It will be so much helpful for you. Okay. Yes. Camelot. Yes, yes. That package. Camelot package. I think the spelling is wrong. Okay. It will be a, a cameo plot or something like that. That is also very good. We do have a tons of other packages. Okay. Just for the introductory purpose, I'm giving you this. So let's right away experiment with the Indian government data. So the website for that is data.gov.in. Just open that website. Yes. And my token expired, it seems. I have to generate another. Please, if you are, uh, you'll have a lot of data here. But if you want to access the data directly from the Indian government website, you need to register for that. I'm going to log in. Okay. So I have to use my mobile number. So if you don't have an account, please register. Meanwhile, I'll also just stop sharing it for a while and finish off the process. 
okay because i should not share my mobile number right yeah so please if you haven't registered please register by your by using otp and no need to worry it's an official indian government uh, data only and even indian government website still i haven't yes i got the otp 6 Yes. Share my screen. Let's go for it. Okay, I've logged in into my stream. Have you? Still not it done. Just give me a thumbs up once you have logged in. another slot booking in interest of booking okay okay yes. yes have you logged in just give me a thumbs up if you want to experiment it when i share the code you should be able to right away get this api or else your program will not okay of course you cannot use my api even i'll be deleting it even if you use my api that's possible okay but my token will get expired if you want you should do it on your own then on the top right corner you will have a meter kind of button if you just click that inside that this this button will not be uh, so much visible if you just hover over there there you will see an account called uh, i mean a button called my account okay just click that and you have to generate this key each one each one of you each one of your accounts will have a unique api key and this is how we can access some api keys through through like this and most of the api keys which doesn't provide any good data it will be of open source anyone can use the common api key here since our data is are authorized clean and uh, real data government wants to know how many people are accessing the data and who is accessing the data okay that's why we have this so just copy that api key once you are done Okay, I'm going to copy that. Yes. And right away, where's my data? I'll just post you the link for this. Uh, I I will also have my own API key. If you want, you can use that. So share. um anyone with the link can view yes i'm posting it in the chat box public chat box you can make use of it yes i've pasted the link for this particular area what you should do is you should paste your api key here in this area you should paste your own api key don't use my key okay even my key has changed i think okay i'll regenerate the key yes you yes if i regenerate my key no one will be able to use the previous key which is on the document so control v and yes that's it i've pasted my key so when i run this i'll quickly get connected and i'll get a confirmation from the indian government website whether i have access to the data or not but if you want any sensitive data means um you can see my api key is valid you don't need to enter okay fine if you want any sensitive data means you should keep a request over there okay you will get all the sample data though every data is true data okay and original data once it is done i can use this like a search box okay just suggest me any one government data which you need anyone any suggestions from your so i search for covid related stuff or any other sensitive information which you need from the government let's try searching andhra pradesh okay andhra unemployment maybe that will be a common uh, thing right thank you mr rahul for suggestion unemployment so let me search i just wanted to see what are all the data is available Yes, I have totally forty results on this data. 
you will have the resource id and the topic okay what that data will provide you okay maybe consider let's take uh, state and union territory wise number of suicides due to unemployment that's very sensitive data in the year 2014 to 18 what you need to do is just copy the resource id and paste the resource id in the next sub box which i have given you that's it because that is where it will get connected and i'm going to print some data instead of printing some data i want all the data that will be good to uh, have a check so data dot yes here i have all the data so in andhra in the year 2014 this what data is this the number of suicides due to unemployment according to the records 40 and in bihar it's high and in gujarat it's even high during the year 2014 and in the year 2018 it's very very high and madhya pradesh kerala chamu and in tamil nadu see it's even higher i think the state of manipur has very less which means can give us just a small analysis but we can't go uh, against or in par with the government just we can get an analysis from this original data either people from manipur are highly educated to highly educated and skillful to get the jobs or else uh, in the other way uh, we can take it also in this way many people can stay voluntarily unemployed or they can find any other ways of uh, work to be done okay this is the way these are the ways you can get any kind of government data and you have more than uh, 1 lakh 30000 different repositories uh, from the indian government and it will be updated each and every day clear so you can get all this kind of common data and you can extract this and you can use it for whatever purpose you want okay some data will some sensitive data will be uh, given only after uh, taking instruction from you okay yes it is not null value no i don't understand mr gopi if you get no results for any of your data means such data is not available with the government that's it okay ban to need data I don't think this data will be there in the government. Maybe I'll just type NEET and let's see. N E E T. Let us search. <clears throat> see, I just typed NEET. Oh my God, I have three results. Students who passed a NEET exam as per the National Testing Agency NTA 2017 18, those list and average marks scored by students and our uh, unemployed engineer. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Raghul, I'll just try that. You, just, you can just try all the stuff. When you get the resource ID, just copy the resource ID, put it in the next string, replace that, and you'll get that data. You can see all the original data. And this is how you can get the original authenticated data from the Indian government website through API key. Okay, not directly. Even if you want directly, some data you can download as CSV file. Go to catalog and you can download most of the data. Okay. So you can really bring up a lot of interesting stuff from this original data. Most of the data engineers and data scientists, even data analysts who are working in the field, they don't touch this data. Okay. This will be very much helpful for your career and stuff. Open for brainstorming. And at the bottom, I've given you a kind of bonus stuff where you can again experiment with Wikipedia uh, data. And this is another example. Okay. Using beautiful soup. There we used only pandas. Here it is beautiful soup. Two different packages. You can even try that. Okay. So these are all the inputs for you today and i uh, hope i'll see a lot of new people in the forward coming days within any batch of the gooby or any in the interview at least any of the interviews okay that's on my side so i think i exactly took around 110 120 minutes of your life hope it will be useful for you and of course i'll be waiting for the feedbacks and yes any questions which should be answered i'll just stop sharing my screen Yes. Guys, you can post your questions in the chat box. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Sorry, Mr. Dr. Ramak uh, Ramakrishnan. Thank you. Sounds like my one of my old professor. Useful. Thank you. Great. No doubts, no discussions. You don't have anything to be asked with me. What's going to be the next step? What to do with that? Yes. Is data extraction needs? Yes, of course. Data extraction is the foundational step. 
for data science okay but the data engineers will do that work there are three people who uh, in a kind of pipeline way who will handle all those things data engineer and after that there will be a data analyst and after that you will have a, a data scientist to handle all this stuff so this uh, all this process will be handled by a data engineer where guvi provides a course for you on data engineering or if you want to directly dump, jump to data science that's also possible guvi has a, a, a option for you okay and the in between thing the data analyst if you become a data engineer if you join the data engineer course you'll learn a part of data analysis okay if you even join the data science course there you'll have a, a, a stuff on data analytics okay it's a kind of uh, a common part with data engineer as well as the data scientists okay so don't you don't need to worry about that so what an amazing session yes thank you syllabus to be syllabus to become data analyst um, I don't know what that question. Syllabus. <laughs> you can just get the brochure of Gibby, and uh, I have understood partially. But after I have to practice. Yes, please practice that, Mr. Dr. Uh, Ramakrishnan. So, what company expect from fresh uh, data scientists, and what we expect <laughs> from the company as a package? See, as I told you, what example which I gave you, just from the picture, how do you extract and how do you perceive the data? Okay, that gives the characteristics about you, right? So like that, depending upon your accomplishments and your portfolio and what you are capable of is what the package is decided on. Okay, so there's no uh, proper formula for that and all. But basically, you'll have an average salary of seven plus lakhs. Okay, in the data engineering and data uh, science field as a fresher itself. Okay, so that's the lower end and uh, reaching up the higher end is, is up to you. And it depends upon who you are and what you're capable of bringing, bringing up to the company. Okay. Yes. Love you, Shishan. Thank you, Mr. Alfred. 15 years of experience, admin and marketing. How can I utilize the data engineering field in my next level? Yes. Admin and marketing. In the marketing area, there's no question. Uh, Mr. Uh, Talai, I believe that daily, at least you will receive two, three calls, which you doesn't need. Yes. And uh, since you are in that particular field, you'll also be making at least 100, 200 people where only 10% or 20% turn up to you. Yes. Is that so? Yes. That's really it. That's where you can use data engineering and data uh, analytics directly over there. But your 15 years experience is like a superb masala for this data engineering. You can add that add your experience with the technology and uh, it will bring out superb colors in the ways of uh, profit for the company. Okay. Obviously, if the company's profit increase, you know what will happen. Your experience will give you that. I have learned data science in another institute and I want help from placement support from Gibi. Mr. Sriram, you can just contact the coordinators. I think you will have uh, uh, any kind of, yes, coordinators. Uh, is there a way for, for them to go? Yes, you have the details in uh, this thing. You can contact the coordinators about it. So that's the thing. Project using data extraction. If you could extract the good data from the stock market and if you could analyze it properly, you can make a lot of money with that. Okay. Don't ask me, sir, how much you are making. Yes, of course, I'm making, but the numbers can't be revealed, right? That one project, if you do, your life gets settled, Mr. Rahul. Okay. Just why, why do we want to beat around the bush? We do all the projects to make good money, right? If you do this one project clearly and perfectly for yourself, your life settled. That's the project idea. Yes, it's, it seems there's only three leaf, uh, I mean, three seats left out of that uh, 25, which where to get real stock market data. <sighs> Every stock market data available is actually real data. The real time data, if you want to get means you have to like this API keys using API keys only you can get, you have to pay a lot if you wanted to get without any delay. And there is a Yahoo finance and Google finance where you can get all those data, but just five minutes to uh, seven minutes delay. Okay. So you can get it directly using their API. That is Yahoo finance and Google finance. If you want live data right away from NSE, BSE, you have to pay a lot for that. And you should get this kind of API. Okay. 
yes that's uh, miss or mrs darni free resource to learn about api google that's it not only api you want if you want to learn about anything not only just technology uh, go for psychology go for medicine go for anything people are doing i mean uh, people are delivering babies these days using google right youtube and google that's where you can get the free access but the right guidance the right way the right path to get towards it obviously uh, the one destination which is the best destination in the market which i know is obviously gooey okay yes thank you mr raghavendra anything else amazing thank you thank you so much